The art of deception is as old as time itself and covers everything from counterintelligence to Halloween masks. But one incredibly convincing method of subterfuge that's rapidly becoming more common is the deepfake. The idea behind a deepfake is that it creates images that strongly resemble a certain subject, usually a person, that isn't actually them. But I'm not talking about some kind of cheap, obvious Photoshop job that involves cut pasting your head onto a weightlifter friend's vacation photos. Instead, deepfakes can be nearly indistinguishable from the real thing to the average human eye, thanks to the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So here's how it works. Programs that generate deepfakes use not one, but two different AIs working together. The first AI will scan many images of the subject to be faked and then create new faked images. The second AI will then examine these fakes and compare them to real images. And if the differences are too stark, the second AI will mark the image as an obvious fake and tell the first AI. So the first AI takes this information and continually adjusts the fake images until the second AI's error rate hits a certain target. That is to say, until the second AI can't tell a fake from the real thing anymore. This system is called a generative adversarial network, and although the idea behind it is fairly simple, advances in processing power have made it a very powerful tool for producing convincing looking fakes. And because it's a fairly general purpose technology, it has lots of cool applications. For example, an AI network like this can analyze lots of people with a similar look to create a fake model for advertising purposes. It's much cheaper than hiring a real model and paying them for a photo shoot, much of course to the chagrin of attractive yet unemployed people everywhere. Deepfakes could also help with age progression photos used by the police to help find missing people, or even to upscale old school video games more realistically so they look nice on modern displays. But if you've seen stories about deepfakes in the news, you probably know that there's a much darker side to the technology. Unsurprisingly, the majority of the deepfake videos on the internet right now are pornographic in nature, with the idea often being to swap in a celebrity's face without their consent, resulting in several well-known actresses falling victim to the practice. And because deepfake technology has gotten good enough to create fake videos that make it appear as though people have been caught on camera saying things they haven't, seriously, it can accurately match up lip movements to convincingly fake speech there's a huge concern that it could be used to spread faked videos of politicians saying insightful or inflammatory things in order to push a certain agenda. Of course, this doesn't mean that everyone out there will be fooled, but with how realistic deepfakes can be and how polarized the political climate is in many parts of the world, political deepfakes could easily convince enough people. Recently, a video surfaced of Nancy Pelosi giving a speech while slurring her words, apparently drunk. The video wasn't even a deep fake. It was merely slowed down, but it still racked up millions of views before finally being exposed as fake. And with accusations of political manipulation becoming more common these days, the rise of deep fake technology has led some observers to believe that it will have a tangible effect on political discourse and even election results. Although it remains to be seen if these fears actually come to pass, there are a number of cheaply accessible deepfake tools that allow people to create deepfakes without a ton of technical skill. So if you wanna tinker with them yourself, I'd say just go ahead, but stay away from the politics and stick to swapping Linus faces into your friend's wedding video. Are you concerned about a data breach causing your credit card info to fall into the wrong hands? Then check out today's sponsor, privacy.com slash techwiki for a free, easy to use service that hides your credit card number. It works by creating a virtual card number that is locked to whichever merchant you're shopping at. So even if that merchant gets hacked, the bad guys won't be able to take your card and use it anywhere they please. And the cool thing is if they try, you're gonna get a push notification so that you're always in the loop and you can cancel that card immediately. Privacy.com is PCI DSS compliant, uses military grade encryption to secure your information, and they offer two-factor authentication. And since they make their money from merchants, there is no cost to you. And if you sign up today, you'll even get $5 for free. So check it out at privacy.com forward slash techwiki. That's privacy.com forward slash techwiki. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other videos, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future fast as possible, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. And that's not me being fakely manipulated to say that. I really think you should subscribe.